Hello, welcome back to another video from Jamie and Aiden. Unfortunately, you've only got me today. I am going to tell you all about what we spent in our 25 days in the north of Thailand. So stay tuned for all of the totals and we'll break everything down to help you budget for your trip. We have just completed 25 days in the north of Thailand, I say north loosely, we were in Chiang Mai, then we went up to Pai, back down to Chiang Mai and in Bangkok for a few days. Bangkok is not technically the north, but we thought we would group it together. It was a nice round number for 25 days and we had such, such an amazing time. We have a lot of videos um, that we've just put out that we're really happy with, really proud of, and we would love for you to check them out if you're interested in visiting this part of Thailand and seeing what it is like and we thought that we would put together this video to help you budget, see what some people spend. Obviously, everyone has a different kind of budget and what they're willing to pay for things and how much they spend, how much they go out, everything goes into this, but this is our budget, which you can compare to what you think you will do the only notes, as always, we are from England, so we work in pounds. We will put all the conversions though, so I'm gonna mention uh, pounds mostly. And the only other thing is there's no flights included in this or the UK bills that we pay like uh, travel insurance or for our phones. So so just, just straight Thailand things. I am filming this, as you can see, from our nice painting behind in our luxury Airbnb down in Phuket, which we are currently enjoying a nice two week holiday with my family who have come to visit from the UK. If you are nosy like me and want to see what it's like, we are currently editing our house tour, our villa tour, so you can see what you can get for the price that we paid in Phuket. But without further ado, we will get to the first, the biggest spend. We will get to the totals at the end. So the first one was accommodation, which was 278 pounds and 90 pence. This is a little bit more expensive maybe than we were budgeting for. Um, we found it quite hard, especially in Pi, to find anywhere with um, air conditioning, which is kind of a must for us especially when we are in the room in the daytime working a lot on our laptops they start to heat up um the sun is shining in so aircon we prefer to have if we are doing a lot of work so we paid a few times for a higher price than we would usually for just a room so that we could get that extra um essential for us basically and like we mentioned in our video about Pi and how it has changed, we will link that below for you to take a look at. It was quite hard to find accommodation. This um, was even in Chiang Mai as well. Usually on booking.com, we would look maybe two or three days in advance and book a place for two or three days. We were finding it very hard to find anywhere available. So for Chiang Mai and Pai, we definitely recommend booking a few days, maybe more than three, possibly even a week in advance to ensure that you can find a cheaper place. Otherwise, you're going to end up spending more because all the cheap ones um, go really quickly and only the expensive ones are less. But if you're on a budget, um, yeah, pre-book is the best. Our next spend was £229.86 for restaurants and food. As you can see from all of our videos, if you have been following us for a while, we love to save money on the food, especially when there is amazing, amazing street food. So Chiang Mai, Pai and Bangkok all have great walking streets, great night bazaars and markets where you can eat more than a full meal. You could get a free course meal if you wanted to just by going to different um, food courts and food stalls. So we tried so many different dishes that we'd never even tried before um, and we have been to Thailand before so it was really great to just dive in to the food. Thai food is famous for being amazing. You should definitely try it when you're here and do not worry about the cost, especially street food. We found it so incredibly cheap that we just kept eating and eating which wasn't great for our diets but it was still okay for the budget. 
Next on the list is what we were actually doing. As many people know, we are digital nomads, so a lot of our time is spent working. Unfortunately, that's the way we do it. We are not traveling 24 seven, enjoying every single minute because we are taking time out to work. So maybe we are only doing half days working and then going out for the afternoon evening or going for a morning activity and then coming back and working. So if you are just thinking about traveling, no work, no break, or just a quick holiday where you're gonna be doing more activities, you should probably budget for some more money in this kind of category. Overall, we spent £151.39. So this was just admissions to the waterfalls in Pai, the canyon in Pai, in Chiang Mai. I don't think we did too many activities. It was more just walking around and getting to know the city again, but some amazing things are on offer. There's so many uh, day tours from Bangkok or Chiang Mai and so, so much to do in Pai. One that we really recommend is the Strawberry Cafe. It's just a little bit outside and also the Bamboo Bridge, just a little bit far outside of Pai. So rent a bike and head over to these amazing activities. Okay, so just a little bit lower, £147.39 we spent on groceries. So we didn't do a lot of cooking. This is mainly just breakfast in the morning. Um, we're not really big breakfast people. We don't want something too heavy. So we just run to 7-Eleven, a quick convenience store, and grab something like a croissant or whatever it may be in the morning. Um, and just normal groceries, some snacks, some crisps, um, just some water and drinks really, um, but not too much for groceries. That one doesn't bother us too much. There are also some amazing, amazing snacks that you can find. We found so many um, just kind of authentic Thai ones, but also authentic Thai grocery store snacks. So the next part that you're going to have to think about when you are traveling in Thailand is how you are going to move around. So you can see from our three destinations, we did a lot of moving. So we landed in Chiang Mai, spent some time there. Then we just got a mini bus, which was only maybe three to four hours um, up to Pai, spent time there. The same mini bus back down. And from Chiang Mai to Bangkok, we took the overnight 14 hour train which we have a whole video about. If you are interested in doing this, you want to know what to expect, you can check out our previous video to see what it was like and whether we enjoyed it or not. But altogether, the prices for this transportation was £140.27. Another thing that this includes is a lot of local taxis. Unfortunately, in Pai, uh, Grab, which is basically like uh, the Asian equivalent of Uber. You can just open your phone, download the app, and then go through. You can even order food on it, deliveries, and uh, taxis too. Unfortunately, it doesn't um, work in Pai because it's a more rural area. So we were paying a bit more for the local taxis, plus renting a bike every day to get around. So the transportation got a little bit more expensive. But when you take into consideration that we saved so much money by getting the train to Bangkok instead of flying, I believe looking at the prices that we saw for this time of year, if we wanted to fly from Chiang Mai to Bangkok alone, it would have been around £60 each. So we saved quite a bit of money just by doing the train. If you are on a budget, we highly recommend it, but make sure you check out our video to see what it's like. So we are getting down now, going down the list. We've got drinks, which includes alcohol. If you have seen our Bali budget video, we were so ashamed we spent a lot more money than we thought we did originally on going out and partying and drinking. We spent £102.71 here in the north of Thailand, which is, I think, not too bad. Um, we went out quite a few times. It just ends up happening, especially when you are staying in social hostels with um, great people. You want to keep talking, keep spending time with them, and you end up talking throughout the whole night over one or two drinks. Um, 102 pounds. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I can live with that one. And we had a great time partying, so I can't really complain. Now we just have the really small ones that don't really fit into big categories, so I will go through them quickly. I've got on my categories general, and we spent £65.58. Um, I'm not really sure what that included, to be honest. I believe a lot of that was on this 
me getting my hair dyed in Chiang Mai, which is a bit of a sad story and we don't really want to go there. Basically, I researched the place, um, really made sure I did my homework to find somewhere that would understand how to dye Western hair, but it did not work out. I've ended up I've ended up with a basically orange mess, but we're just living with it. That's what happens when you are traveling. You make some mistakes. So I believe it cost around 60 pounds for my hair and whatever that extra five pounds is, we'll never know, just a general cost of being here. Next is shopping. We unfortunately lost a lot of our clean laundry and things are just getting damaged. When you are traveling, um, you lose things, things get damaged. It, it just happens. It's kind of a given. It's, it's unfortunate, but you just have to deal with it. So we had to replace a lot of things that we'd lost, like towels and some clothes. So shopping, we spent £23.97. Not too bad. We picked up everything that we needed around about the different malls and markets. So we're glad to have replaced the things that we lost. The next one, a very small amount again, coffee, we spent £20.46. Now, we do like drinking coffee, we're not massive, massive coffee drinkers. We've said before, mostly just for the free Wi-Fi that you get in cafes or um, like we mentioned in Pi, the air conditioning in the rooms weren't great, it was very hot um, to work all day so we would just head to a cafe instead, get a drink or maybe a quick snack and then sit in there for a few hours in their nice aircon instead of sweating it out in our rooms. Only a little bit of money to pay for quite a few hours of entertainment. Now the last category we have is laundry, washing of our clothes, only £11.71 which is not bad at all, honestly. Um, we did notice here in Thailand, it is a lot more expensive to do um, your laundry to get it done for you. Our tip that we found to make it cheaper was rather than going to a laundry place where you drop it off, they do it for you and you come back and pick it up. We found some ones where you do it yourself, so they just have lots of different machines like a laundrette. You go, you do your own washing, so it's a lot cheaper. Um, basically like half the price and that's how we managed to save a little bit of money on laundry. I believe we have got to the end of the categories. I hope that the breakdown of each one helped to explain what we spent in each uh, category for each thing with accommodation being our most, our biggest spend and laundry being our smallest. Um, so overall, we put our total at £1,172.24, which for 25 days works out £46.88 a day. Uh, it's not our cheapest place that we've been to, it is also not the most expensive, so it has ended up somewhere within our budget, which is good. So overall, um, just to make it really, really clear, that's for two people. So for one person, our average a day, £23.44. Let's round it up to 25. And I'm going to say overall, our average for one person a day, £25 in the north of Thailand. I think that is a great number um, to work towards. You can start saving or maybe you can budget your money using this guide and hopefully it can help you. Uh, so you know that you're spending a bit more than we did or a bit less. I, I'm sure some people can do it cheaper than us and I'm sure many people do it more expensive than us too, but £25, I'm really happy with this. We always try to stay on budget. Obviously, it doesn't always work. There are some things we could have done um, cheaper, but we have had the best, best time in the north of Thailand and we're actually quite sad that we had to make our way down to the south, but we are loving it here as well. If you have any questions about anything that we've mentioned or maybe some specific up-to-date prices, bear in mind that this is 2022, so they are a lot better, a better guide than maybe some before the pandemic. We know that prices have changed so much and especially in this kind of season, getting towards Christmas, prices do tend to go up. So this is a great guide for you um, with some updated prices of £25 a day. We can all live with that, can't we? I guess then that's everything. It has been great to be able to break this down and it really helps us keep an eye on what we're spending so we don't spend too much and hopefully it can help you with your budgeting and a guide for your spending while you are in Thailand. 
thank you very much for watching we will see you in our next video make sure to like and comment if you enjoyed it and subscribe for future content bye Thank you.